Jumbo. In the beautiful and vibrant capital Nairobi, the hustle and bustle of everyday life is in full effect. But did you know that just one kilometer away from the central business district lies a golfing gem? A beautiful nine-hole golf course that will test your shot accuracy to the max. Hit it right, you could be in with a chance of a birdie. One slight mistake, you could be in someone's office boardroom. Welcome to Kenya Railway Golf Club. It used to be Kenya Ugandan Railway Golf Club. And I think after the breakup of the community, they reverted to Kenya Railway Golf Club. This is one of the oldest uh, clubs uh, in the country, perhaps. And uh, it started off in 1921. This is the only club within uh, the CBD of Nairobi. But you'll find that most Kenyans don't know that there is a golf club on the left side of uh, uh, Huru Highway, just after Bunyala, a roundabout. It's uh, quite a good club, very green. Uh, most golfers enjoy their afternoon golf. Whoever works in town finds it very uh, convenient for them to come here and uh, enjoy their, their golf at the course. Today it's a bright and sunny day, beautiful day. I'm going to play the course, but I'm not playing alone. I'll be joined by Mr. George Ngasha, who's the greenkeeper, who will hopefully give us a bit of insight on why Kenya Railways Golf Club is one of the most challenging courses in the country. Mr. George. Thank you very much, sir. Good to see you. Good to see you. Shall we do this? Yes. All right. So, George, as a greenkeeper, I remember there was, a, there was some time back when um, there was a bit of work being done on the fairways and actually I used to pass by the road and see a lot of <laughs> trenches. So how was that experience and uh, what are the benefits you've seen from that um, whole uh, refurbishing of the course? Basically, from the time that I came in as a greenkeeper, what happened was there was some work that was done on the fairways. Yes. I uh, speak right now, the fairways that were redone, actually the dry up parts. Okay. Of course, even when it actually rains. Yes. Now, with that, it's actually helped us. I know a lot of members, at uh, the time the refurbishment was done, they were up in arms. However, as you see right now, the right sides of the fairway is always drier mm. than the left side. Okay. You know what they always say, bear with us today for a better tomorrow. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Allowed. Exactly. Cut that out. <laughs> Kenya Railway Golf Club is surrounded by vibrant residential and commercial enterprises, high-end hotels, offices and restaurants, making it very ideal for that quick round either early in the morning or after work. Walking to hole number two, one unique thing about hole number two is uh, it has the railway lines passing smack in front of it. Talk to me about the, the railway line. Uh, um, this is a very iconic uh, hole for us. Yeah. It's a signature hole. Yes. Uh, we're one of the two clubs in the world that actually have a uh, really like passing through it. Okay. So this is uh, something that I would say we pride ourselves as Kenya Railway really Golf Club, uh, being one of the two uh, clubs. One is in uh, India. Yes. And now Kenya Railway really Golf Club. Be honest, how many times have we hit the train? <laughs> they say if you actually hit into the train, you'll find your ball in Kisumu. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go for it. <laughs> now, one thing about Kenya Railway Golf Club is it's not that long because, for example, hole number two is 326 yards. Most of you could probably get there with your driver, but there's a lot of risks involved. There's a railway line, which is OB. There's construction on the right, which is OB. Hook it left, you're OB as well. So it's a matter of high risk, high reward. I'm not that courageous. I hit a six iron. So George, um, talk to me about the greens. Because I've noticed at railways, no, no one green is similar to the other. Uh, um, that's unique in the sense that, uh, first and foremost, yeah. um, we usually have Bermuda grass. Yes. So Bermuda grass is a type of grass that actually does well in a hot weather, yeah. but not necessarily during the cold season. Yes. So during the cold season, you'll see some black patches. That is algae, yeah. so we have to do some uh, routine maintenance whereby we have to apply some uh, fungicides. Yes. Now, with that being said, picture this me being a green but not knowing much about um, fungicides, pesticides, 
but I've actually been with uh, people who have actually helped us. Yeah. That's to uh, green makers and also with uh, greens committee. Okay. So it's a process whereby we look at now the conditions of the green. Yeah. We know what we require to do. For example, as you see the greens, yes. black patches, yes, algae. So mm. we know that we're supposed to now treat that. And when you walk on the greens, yeah. you can actually feel that they're a bit spongy. Yeah, a bit spongy, yes. So now that is uh, the build-up of starch. So we have to now do what is called holo okay. That's the boring of holes in which now we remove the dead grass. Yeah. And then now we allow aeration for the new grass to grow. So this is our practice that we're going to do this Wednesday. Yeah. We're going to actually poke holes, put some sand on top, and then put some uh, fungicides and also pesticides. So also we find we might have some termites coming out of the ground. Yeah. So when you hollow tie and you do the pesticides, yes. you actually take care of that. All right. If you didn't know, now you know. So actually, when I was preparing for this episode, what I did is I posted in many golf groups asking them which is their most challenging holes when they play Kenya Rela Golf Club. They told me hole number four, part three. Let's see how it goes. So today the tee box is a bit ahead. It's playing 139 to the center of the green. It's a red pin, a bit of an uphill. Phew. <laughs> All right. Good. Ah, <laughs> now I'm putting downhill. Boggy, boggy, this particular hole, take it and run. Hole number five, the coordinates, the NIC hole. Today it's playing about 256 from the tee box. As you can see on the right, that's not where you want to be because Lower Hill Road, Bunyala Road, there's buildings. Once again, high risk, high reward. Am I that brave? No. <laughs> yep. In the middle of the busy concrete jungle Nairobi, it is a privilege to find peace and tranquility in this beautiful green oasis. One thing I love about Kenya Railways is on each and every fairway you find a lot of trees. And George has just told me that ever since he came into office, they've planted 1,500 more trees. Talk about that. Now, the thing I love about nine hole courses is how the architects have to be very, very creative in differentiating between the front and the back nine. Now, the next hole we're going to play, when you play in the front nine is hole number eight, plays as a par four, but on the back nine, turns into a par three. The longest par three in East Africa, playing at 237 yards. Which club do you hit? Well, well, uh, cut! <laughs> okay, hole number 9 slash 18, it's a par 5. On the right is Uhuru Highway. You don't want to go to Uhuru Highway. So, keep it left. You don't want to keep it too left because of the trees. That's the beauty of Kenya Railway Golf Club. Next time you're in town, traffic is backed up, that meeting has been cancelled, or your data switched off her phone, don't stress, hop in for a quick nine. But remember, carry your golfer's insurance and watch out for the train. <laughs>